Okay, so chapter six, section one. It's gonna look somewhat familiar because we kind of did this with complex numbers at the end of chapter three. So a couple vocab words. We have polynomial. It's a monomial or a sum or difference of monomials. So it's mainly more than one term. A monomial is a number or a product of numbers and variables with whole with a whole number with whole number exponents or a polynomial of one term. So like a monomial is something like 2x. A polynomial is something like 3x to the fourth plus 2x cubed plus x squared plus 7. So polynomial, more than one term. Monomial could be 2x. It could be x to the third. It could be something along those lines. So the degree of a monomial is the sum of the exponents of the variable. So if we just have x to the third, the degree is 3. But if we have a squared times b times c to the 12th, we're going to add up all those exponents to get our degree. So our degree would be, we have a 2, and then plus a 1. Remember, if there's no exponent written, then it's technically a 1. And then we have plus 12, so our degree is 15. A degree of a polynomial is a degree of a monomial term with the greatest degree. So whatever if you have 4x to the fifth, if that's your highest degree, then that is the degree of your polynomial. Leading coefficient is the coefficient of the term with the greatest degree. So again, that 4x to the fifth, your leading coefficient there is 4. So if we have... Something looks like 3x to the third. My coefficient is 3. My variable is x. My exponent is the little 3. And then just the number without a variable is called a constant and has a degree of 0. So just the number 13. This is a constant. Its degree is 0. So when adding polynomials, we are doing exactly what we did with those complex numbers. We're going to add together our like terms. We don't have to worry about that i squared in this case. We're just going to be dealing with var regular variables. So adding polynomials, what I like to do, again, I told you guys, rewrite everything without the parentheses. So we have 4x squared minus x cubed plus 2 plus 5x to the fourth. Then we have plus that negative x plus 6x squared plus 3x to the fourth. So once you have that, you always want to write your polynomial with the highest degree first, so with the highest exponent first. So I have a 5x to the fourth, and I have a 3x to the fourth. So 5x to the 4th plus 3x to the 4th is 8x to the 4th. That'll be my first term. Once you're done with them, you can cross them off. So that way you know that you've already added those together. So the next 4th was my highest, so let's look for the 3rd. Do I have anything else that goes with that negative x to the 3rd? I do not. So 8x to the 4th minus x to the 3rd. Then we're gonna combine our x squared. So we have four x squared plus six x squared, which would give me a positive 10 x squared. Those are done. Then I have this negative x. I have no other x to go with it, so it's just gonna be minus x. And then my last thing is my constant, which is that two. So when I add those two polynomials together, I have eight x to the fourth minus x to the third plus 10 x squared, minus x plus 2. So same thing with this one. Just rewrite it without the parentheses. So we have 10x minus 18x to the third plus 6x to the fourth minus 2 minus 7x to the fourth plus 5 plus x 
plus 2x to the third. So again, doing the same thing, we're going to combine our like terms. I have a 6x to the fourth, and I have a negative 7x to the fourth. So that's going to give me negative x to the fourth. 6 minus 7 is negative 1. Don't need to write the 1 in front. So we then have negative 18x cubed and 2x cubed. That's going to give me a minus 16x cubed. Those are done. Then scanning, we have a 10x and an x. So 10x plus x is going to be 11x. And then we have our constants left. We have negative 2 plus 5, which is just going to be a positive 3. So there's your answer there. Now remember, I have you guys write out of the parentheses just so you are more prepared for when you are subtracting polynomials. So when we go to subtract polynomials, remember you have to take the minus sign that's in between the parentheses and distribute it to everything that is going on inside that parentheses. So you're pretty much changing the signs to the opposite sign. So we have 12x cubed plus 5x minus 8x squared plus 19 minus 6x squared plus 9x minus 3 plus 18x cubed. So again, look for your highest exponent. My highest exponent is the x cubed. I have 12x plus 18x, which is going to give me 30x. Those are done. I then have negative x squared and negative 6x squared, which would be, that'd be 30x cubed. So this would be negative 14x squared. Notice that I'm not doing anything with the exponents. I then have a 5x and a 9x. So it's gonna be a plus 14x. And then I have a 19 and a minus 3, so that'd be a plus 16. And there is your final answer there. Don't do anything with the exponents. No exponent rules come into play from Algebra 1. Um, you're just combining like terms. And what determines the like term is the fact that all the x cubes are together, all the x squares all the get are, are together, all the x's are together, all the constants are together. So again, we have another subtraction problem. We're going to say negative 4x squared plus 8x cubed plus 19 minus 5x to the fifth minus 9, distributing that negative, minus 2x squared minus 10x to the fifth. I distributed that negative to everything on the inside. So... My x to the fifth is my highest, negative 5x to the fifth, and negative 10x to the fifth is negative 15x to the fifth. Those are done. I then have the 8x cubed, but I have nothing else to pair it with, so it's going to be plus 8x cubed. I have negative 4x squared and negative 2x squared, which would be negative 6x squared. And then I have a 19 minus 9, which is just going to be a plus 10. And there is your final answer. Last but not least is a modeling problem. Of course, I'm going to give you a word problem. So it says the data from the U.S. Census Bureau for 2005 to 2009 shows that the number of male students enrolled in high school in the U.S. can be modeled by m of x equals 10.4x to the third minus 74.x squared, it's supposed to be a square, minus 3.4x plus 8,320.2. x is the number of years after 2005. m of x is the number of male students in thousands. The number of female students enrolled in high school can be modeled by f of x equals negative 13.8x cubed plus 55.3x squared 
plus 141x plus 7,880. X is the number of years after 05. F of X is the number of female students in, st in thousands. Estimate the total number T of X of students enrolled in 2009. So in order to find my total, I'm going to add those two polynomials together. So T of X is going to equal 10.4 X cubed minus 74.2 X squared minus 3.4x plus 8320.2. And together we're going to add to that that negative 13.8x cubed plus 55.3x squared plus 141x plus 7,880. So I'm gonna add those two polynomials together. So 10.4 minus 13.8 is gonna give me negative 3.4 x cubed, negative 74.2 plus 55.3, is gonna give me negative 18.9 x squared, negative 3.4 plus 141 is going to give me 137.6 x, and then 8320.2 plus 7880 is 16,200.2. So that is my polynomial I'm gonna to use to solve this. So they want to know the total number of students enrolled in 2009. Now remember, X represents the number of years after 2005. So 2005 to 2009, X is gonna equal four years. There's four years until 2009. I'm just gonna plug that in for all of the X's that are in this polynomial. So I'll have negative 3.4 times four cubed minus 18.9 times four squared plus 137.6 times four plus 16200.2. So technically that'd be negative 3.4 times 64 minus 18.9 times 16 plus 137.6 times four plus that 16,200. So I went ahead and did the exponents first because that's what the order of operations tell me. So negative 3.4 times 64 is negative 217.6 minus 18.9 times 16 is 302.4 plus 137.6 times four is 550.4 plus 16200.2. So negative 217.6 minus 302.4 plus 550.4 plus 16200.2. So the total number of students, T of X, T of four, is going to equal 16,230.6 students total. So that is your answer there.
Once you have the number of years, we're gonna plug it in for each X in that polynomial. So this was my polynomial of everything together. I plugged four in everywhere there was an X and did the operation. Plug and chug, like I say. Your homework is page 203, 204, numbers two through 20 even.